Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to look at the hreflang signal tag. If you have a website and you want to expand internationally to different uh, language audiences, you can use make use of hreflang signal tag. We are, this is not a W3C standard tag. This is a specific tag used by Google to identify language variations. For example, on a website, you create uh, your register your you register your domain name and add product uh, images and descriptions, and you also indicate your address and phone number. All of these things are used by Google to specifically target a certain audiences. Say, for example, this one is for USA, and if you want to expand to a different country or language, you need to create different website for that language. Targeting specific languages and regions give credibility to that website. For example, let us look at um, a website called Amazon. This is an Amazon website and I am in Australia. So as soon as I type in Amazon, I get the Amazon Australian version dot com dot au dot au is the country specific uh, TLDs. This Amazon page is tar targeted for Australian audience. As you can see on the at the bottom of the page, Amazon also target Brazil, Canada, China, France, Japan, Mexico, uh, United Kingdom, and so on. So let us look at say what the Chinese page look like. Look, click on China. It open up and uh, it goes to the the Chinese page Amazon dot dot cn. That uh, that is country specific code and it, everything is in Chinese and in Chinese uh, uh, prices in yuan. So if you go to France, if you look at the French page, you Amazon take to the the French side dot fr and everything is in in French and the and the prices are in um, in euros, All right? So if you go to say for example Japan, you take to the Japanese page with the co dot jp, and everything is Japanese and it is in yen. All right? So that is country specific uh, targeting. That is country targeting. So obviously Amazon is a smart company and it it, it knows how to target uh, its audience. So we can also make use of uh, different language pages and make use of this uh, Google hreflang tag. All right, say for example, if, if you want to target French people, you create your domain name in, you register your domain name in French with the .fr and create the page in, Fran in French and with French address and phone number. So that covers uh, French people. And the same thing goes for, say, for example, Japanese. You create a site in Japanese, uh, the same site with the Japanese content and Japanese address and phone number. Google used this page to target uh, Japanese audience. So that covers uh, Japan. It is preferred to have um, country-specific uh, TLDs, top-level domains. Registering domain name with the different country code is um, it's not difficult. It is actually very easy. Um, if you don't want to create different uh, domain names, then you can have your own uh, what's called uh, a folder. You can create folders for different languages within your site and um, make sure that the, the structure is the same and all that. But uh, unfortunately, this is not as effective as having a, your own country code. You must have your own site name with that country code. That is more effective. So you have these uh, various uh, uh, sites in different languages targeting for different uh, language groups. So how do we manage that? To get better SEO, you need to connect these sites together. So what you do is on your site, on the uh, web page, on the header of the page, you put the normal title and meta tags, whatever meta tags you want to put on. Then you add a relationship tag, Al alternate language, is whichever language it is and the, and the okay and the page address so relationship is alternate href language whatever language and uh, the the site address 
So in here, for example, is the home page. Okay, you need to do that for each and every page, language page of your site. Now, obviously, that may be too difficult for some people because if there are hundreds of uh, pages, another alternative is you can create a sitemap for each site. Having a sitemap for each site will make uh, management easier. If you want these sites, you, you may as well go to Google Webmaster Tools and verify these sites. If you can verify all these, all your site, you only need one sitemap. And all these uh, uh, sites can point to this one sitemap and that will take care of all the three sites. Google prefer this method, that is all, all, all the site pointing to one sitemap. This is, by the way, is the href language sitemap. It is different to your normal sitemap. This will go alongside your normal sitemap. All right, so this is what Google prefer. Now, how this sitemap will look like? It like the, the first, uh, say, the three lines look at the, just like any other sitemap uh, with the code. But the next line is the URL of the page location of the page. This one is here, for example, the home page. And uh, the next line underneath is the alternate tags. So you do that for each and every uh, page. And uh, the as you can see, there are three lines. You make sure that uh, all these are interconnected. In this way, Google know that all these pages are interconnected. It will give you uh, more weight in the SEO ranking. So continuing, so what are the, the main points? Make sure you have sites for each separate language and also register in that country specific top level domain. That is important. And also make sure you have addresses, local address and contact phone number on that on those pages. If you are serious about business, make sure that there is someone out there who can answer the customer's call in their local time zone, whatever. All right. And uh, the href lang tag need to be need to cross reference to each other. All right, that's called the, the loop. It must uh, the main language and any other languages. You must make sure that everything is interconnected, uh, put in the, in the same place. Easy way to manage is href lang sitemap, and that is what Google prefer. This is preferred by Google because it, the, the their site indexing machine can work more efficiently. That is how you expand to international market. Okay, so go and expand your business to international market, making use of the HF, HRF Lang uh, signal tag. This is Google specific tag. And uh, expand your business internationally. Thank you for watching and good luck. Hello, if you like this tutorial, please subscribe to this channel and share it with friends. Thank you.